Hello, friends, and thank you for joining me. Well, earlier on, I spoke to Sam Kaduri, who is a teacher in the Divine Will. And Sam shared on the importance of people getting the right teaching on the Divine Will and on the interpretation of Louise's writings. He also shared on the Magisterium and how the Divine Will is in line with Catholic teaching and Catholic spirituality. So let's jump right in and hear what Sam has to share with us with us and how you can get involved in this teaching. Hello, Sam. How are you today? Hello, Taro. Oh, it's great to finally have you here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please share a little bit about yourself and your background. Uh, yes. Uh, so you can tell from the name is uh, Wissam or Sam for short. Most people call me Sam, but some call me Wissam. Uh, but uh, it's an Arabic name. I'm originally from Iraq. Um, I came to this country in 1992 after the Gulf War, the Kuwait Gulf War. Um, and uh, Our Lady has been key in my life um, in taking me from one thing to another. Um, and she she has always been the key to bring me to, to Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps that's a story for another day. But um, yes, uh, so... My accent, you may wonder, is because I'm from Iraq. I came here at the age of 17, 16, 17. I never lost the accent. Yes. Um, and uh, I'm a Chaldean right Catholic. Yes. So the, uh, so, uh, the liturgy we celebrate is based on St. Thomas the Apostle. Okay. His disciples evangelized Mesopotamia, which is now Iraq, and they put the liturgy for the Mass. So it's based on St. Thomas. Uh, I still go to the Latin Mass as well here, but uh, yeah, it's nice. I mean, we, we mm -hmm. do the Our Father in Aramaic and the consecration yeah. in Aramaic. If you're, now, in you're like us here and myself, you're passionate about the, the divine will. And just share a little bit about your own background in terms of your education, because you studied theology, right? Um, so yes. share a little bit about that. Yes. So uh, I studied um, a master degree in um, applied Catholic theology from Maryville Institute in Birmingham. And um, uh, that was uh, really, really uh, amazing because it, it's, it's so solid, so orthodox. And I did my PhD, uh, sorry, MA, MA dissertation on uh, Our Lady. Yes, How I Our have Lady read. Is the living catechism yes. and mother and model of catechism mm -hmm. and there was such a gap uh, in that this title i didn't make it up this title comes from john paul ii after the synod uh, uh and he wrote the encyclical catechesi tridente and in number 73 he described our lady he says there are good grounds to describe our lady as the mother as the mother and model of catechism and as he used a living catechism, but we can say the living catechism. Mm -hmm. So I, I I expounded this grounds and it was, it was um, a, a, a dissertation that was quoted by um, people in Maryville. And uh, I, I know Dr. Caroline Ferry uh, used it as well when she was in Rome. Uh, arguing and talking about the role of women in the pre in the in the church so a lady made good use of it thanks for yes you. and as i've said friends i have read only half of sam's dissertations and it's absolutely excellent you have a passion for our lady sam a huge passion but again we may have a conversation about that again but i just want to talk about the divine will um yes. how you you came across the divine will and and I guess take us to where you are today with it. Yes, yes. But just to say, my my divine will intake is in the context of the theology of the church mm -hmm. and also in the spirituality of the church. Because uh, again, through Our Lady, which is for another session, uh, I got into the Carmelite order, which is the order of Our Lady, the order of John of the Cross, Teresa of Avila, Teresa of Lisieux, uh, uh, and um, uh, I became, a, a, after f more than five years studying Carmelite spirituality, I fully professed. That's why I have OCDS, which means the Skulls Carmelite. 
But a divine will, a divine will, I was introduced to the divine will by a, an Irish lady, God bless her, um, uh, who is in London. Yeah. And uh, her, her name is Helena. And she introduced me to the divine will in the 90s, in the late 90s, 1998 or 1999, early 1999. And then I met Thomas Fahey, Fahey who came to London, God rest his soul. Yes. Uh, spoke about the divine will in the 90s uh, I, I, so during that period I was doing my acts and rounds in the divine will praying the hours of the passion Virgin Mary in the kingdom of the divine will but I wasn't really reading the volumes it wasn't under COVID until COVID hit and we had more time yeah. because I'm working I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dad and I'm working so uh, uh, then I had more time and then I just I don't know. I just started reading the volumes after to uh, listen to a few videos on Louisa. It kind of re enkindled my interest to study the divine world. And after I read the volumes from the volume one to the last volume, I was like filled. I was like a, a dam that cannot contain water. I just couldn't keep it for myself. I just, it's just exploded. And I wanted to tell the whole world about the divine world. Yes. And, and and share it with everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes. So right now, Sam, you have a small group of people that you work with and you teach, or you're involved with, I guess, sharing the divine will, getting to understand from a church perspective, right? Yes. Always we walk according to the church. Uh, I love our priests. I love our bishops. I love our 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 pope. Uh, I always, always faithful to the magisterium, the Carmelite and the, the spirituality of the church and the divine world. So, mm -hmm. um, so where to find solid divine world teaching? I was wondering because I read the volumes, but I don't want to put my spin of understanding on it. I wanted a catechism on the divine will to make sure my understanding is in line with the church. But there is no catechism available. Yes. Uh, we have Francis Hogan, who's uh, a scholar, a biblical scholar, which I listened to her, which she did a great job in in, in showing the roots, the biblical roots of the divine world. Yes. But I came across Father Joseph, Dr. Joseph Yununzi, mm -hmm. and I got hold of his uh, PhD dissertation, yes. which got the church's seals of approval from the yes. Pontifical University. So I thought, this is good. I want to work with our priest. I can now understand it in the right light and be able to give in the right light without, God forbid, spreading heresies. Yes. Uh, uh, so, yeah, that's how it started. I read the dissertation. I got in contact with Father Joseph through Zoom meetings, asking him questions for things that are not clear. Um, and then that helped me. There was also Father Pablo Martin, who was one of the priests recommended by Father Yunuzi, he wrote a, what he called a little catechism on the divine world oh, wow. on Amazon. That helped a little bit as well. It's it's brief, mm. uh, but um, yeah, that that helped me um, uh, to to have the right way of of, of teaching. It. Yeah. And then when we started our group, Carol, it was only myself and two people. Uh, that was um, uh, back in in uh, early last year. January, February last year. Uh, before that, we didn't have a group. It was just me reaching out to people and then private conversation with them. Two, three hours, sometimes four and a half hours sitting, yeah. talking about it. And, and people were captured, were like amazed mm -hmm. at how God works. As you know, Carol, God give us signs. It's not a blind faith, isn't it? Yes. He yes. give us signs and we yeah. see fruits. Yeah. Well, you know, I think it's so important that particularly now the divine will is at a crucial crossroads because we know that it's the, the cause for Louisa is is on pause just now. Yes. So it's so important, friends. And indeed, when we do stuff here on Being Catholic Media, you want to make sure that, you know, what we're talking about is the right thing. We all sing, excuse me, sing from the same hymn sheet, for want of a better word, that we honor the church and all of this. We we stand on the magisterium, its teachings through the divine will, right? Um, because like I say, we are at that crucial point, right, Sam? Yes, of course, of course. 
there are people teaching wrong things about the divine will maybe good well good intention mm -hmm. but uh but uh are they not uh, qualified to teach and uh, uh you know but yes there are a lot of uh, and then there is um, a formal person who was a priest and not a priest anymore and speaking ill of the divine will um yeah so it's important we walk along our priests and this is their mission of our study group carol is to walk with our priests uh, yes we walk with our priests. I mean, I have a spiritual director who is in the divine will, uh, who give me spiritual direction um, uh, and advises. And we have a spiritual assistant in our group who's a priest in Rome, Father Richard. Mm -hmm. uh, he's in Rome and he is, he, he's got the, through Father Yununzi, he's got the original manuscript, oh, the God. Italian translation of the volume. So we can, I can go back to him and check on a particular ambiguous passage mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. he could read it in Italian and then give it, tell me if that English is, is good or not. So we so, get the right interpretation. Exactly, yes. And and it's all about that right, Sam, isn't it? The absolutely. right interpretation. Absolutely. So I, I'm close to him. You can see him in, in one of the videos in our recordings. He was sitting... Uh, next to me for a whole day uh, in January when he came from Rome to, to London uh, and um, he contributed and he's uh, he's still reading the volume so he's new to this really but yes. he, he loves every bit of it he cannot see any contradiction with the faith no. actually a fulfillment of everything you see, this is it, friends the divine will is the fulfillment it's truly a gift of our time so I guess we're in a crucial time, Sam. You felt it was appropriate right now that you come online and I guess share what it is that you hope to achieve or the aim of your prayer group. Yes. Why do you feel now is the time? Yes, it's uh, there is unity. Uh, in unity, there is power. When we are united, we are strong. When we are divided, we are weak. Yeah. So, um, I, I, our group it love the priests love the priests we are we are uh, one of members one of the members in our group sponsor a priest so priests come in and they find someone to sponsor them oh, right wow. um we love our priests and we want our priests to be involved in in the divine world to be involved to walk side by side next to us mm -hmm. so Yes, we we had father, we have Father Richard, we have my spiritual director, we have we we had Father Humphrey O'Connor who came in last time and how amazing he first time he comes on air and 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 speaks you know he's got his little two three people in his group but now you know people are more aware of him he said beautiful things like when I pray my divine office mm -hmm. I I incorporate rounds in them. And yes. I, I, I do this as well when I pray my office, yes. but yes. I didn't realize there's somebody else doing it. So like, wow, okay, thank you, Father. That's reaffirming. I'm going to do it even more now. Yes. Uh, yes. And he said, I pray my rounds within the mistress of the rosary. I mean, isn't this amazing? When you hear that, you think, mm -hmm. then, you know, when the lay people hear that from a priest in persona Christi speaking like this, their ministry is brought to a whole new level. There's no doubt about it. So, Sam, I guess, like I say, your aim is to bring more people into your prayer group, right? Yes, yes. And reach out to priests who yes. uh, I'm, I'm doing, trying my best to reach out to priests whom I know. But I'm sure, I hope there will be somebody listening here and know a priest who is interested in the divine world and make contact mm -hmm. uh, and when we connect it, there is power. There is this, yeah. in, in unity, there's power. Yes, and we just want to reiterate, friends, Sam is qualified to do this, more than qualified. He has the connections he needs if he needs to check anything out. Um, so I want to encourage you, we're going to put the details of how you can get in touch with Sam and this prayer group in the description uh, underneath this video. Um, so like I say, it's important that we have unity, we stand on church teaching. There is nothing outside of Louise's writings that are contrary to the faith. 
She bears the, her writings bear the imprimatur, folks. So, you know, that says it all for us. So, Sam, anything before we close, before we close, is there anything you would like to add? Yes, uh, yes. So, uh, yes, for those who are new to the Divine Moon, please come in, please contact us. We love you. You will find somebody who, uh, you will find the laity who is like Our Lady to, to the apostles, uh, who will pray for you, who will uh, support you, and who will benefit from your teaching and your role. So you'll feel empowered uh, mm -hmm. connecting to us. And for those priests who are solid in the divine world, Father Joseph Yununzi and others, uh, who are solid in the divine world. Uh, also, I am going to reach out to them to to give their witness how they live the divine world, and hopefully, people after they listen to their witness will ac actually go and check their teaching, solid teaching, mm -hmm. um, and then everybody will benefit really. And I want to read a little bit of Our Lady sure. in the in the uh, Vir uh, Virgin Mary in the kingdom of the divine will. Yes. Um, day one, I did not, uh, the, I do them uh, the 30, that prayer of Our Lady, the Virgin Mary, I do it in the month of May, October, but I also try to do it in the month of March. So like at least three times a year. So today is day one. This it's is the lesson, month. Sam, is it? This is the lesson, That's Our Lady's lesson. lessons. Exactly. Yeah. So this is, so I didn't pick this up. That was, my assigned um, reading for today. And I just thought it's so appropriate. So I read it from what Our Lady is speaking to Louisa and through Louisa to her priest, her laity, her religious who are gonna embrace that gift of the divine world. And Our Lady says, Our Lady says, um, I know it's admirable secrets, infinite joys, indescribable happiness, an incalculable value. She's speaking about the divine will. To hear my child calling me because she desires to listen to my lessons on the divine will is for me, Our Lady speaking, the greatest festivity, the purest joy. Ah, Our Lady says, if you listen to my lessons, I will consider myself most fortunate to be your tender mother. Yes. Oh, how I, I, I just finished the paragraph. Oh, how I sigh to have a child who desires to live only in the divine world. Tell me, oh child, will you make me happy? Will you place your heart, your will, and your entire self in my maternal hands so that I may prepare you, dispose you, strengthen you, and empty you of everything? If you do so, I will completely fill you with the light of the divine will and form in you its divine life. So place your head upon the heart of your heavenly mother and be attentive in listening to me so that my sublime lessons make you decide to never do your will, but always the will of God. Amen. 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 Well, Sam, thank you for joining me today. We hope this reaches many ears and, um, like I say, encourages priests to come on board because, like I say, it'll take their ministry to a whole new level and it needs those who participate. So, again, thank you for joining me today. Thank and we'll you. be talking again, there's no doubt about it. Um, there's so much to do in the divine will. There's so much to cover, so much to learn. And I'm super excited about it. And I'm super excited for you about your ministry and may the you. Lord and our Blessed Mother continue to guide you. And thank, thank you for joining me today. One um, more thing, Carol. Behind sure. me, you see that these uh, icons ha have not been chosen by, by accident. We have uh, Christ Jesus, the Good Shepherd, who lead each soul on its own unique journey. And as our Mother Holy Teresa of Avila says, no two souls have the same journey, even by half. And he is also the good shepherd in the priest who leads his flock. So that icon is very special. Next to it, we have Our Lady of Mount Carmel, because I'm Carmelite and I'm teaching you through these lenses of Our Lady through the spirituality of the church. Then we have sent, um, uh, we have not sent yet, um, a servant of God, Luisa Picaretto, with her relic. And St. Hannibal de Francia, 
who was the ecclesiastical censor and the spiritual director of Louisa, who gave, who was instrumental in the Impromata and Neil Obstad in the first 19 volumes, the Hours of the Passion Virgin Mary in the Kingdom of the Divine Will. And Pope Benedict loved this saint, yeah. loved him yeah. to the point that he put his statue in the bell tower in the Vatican. Oh, so uh, if you doubt, oh, Louisa is not a saint yet, here is someone who lived in the divine world, loved the divine world, promoted the divine world, and said it's the most sublime spirituality ever. It's it the fulfillment of everything. Whose statue in the Vatican, he's there. He witnessed yes. to She's that. not a saint yet, but she's on her way. There's no doubt exactly. about it. Yes. This, is yes. Just, no this pause is just a pause. I think we will we'll agree there, Sam. But thank you again. Thank you again. And um, thank you again for your witness. And you can see your seal and passion there is great, especially for Our Lady. So again, thank you, Sam. And until next time, friends, I hope you are encouraged by this video today. And thank, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Sam. Mother, please.